All right, I'm going to show you guys how to install a M.2 SSD in a Sager 8157. I already have a SSD in here that's an M.2, but there's an open slot that I'm going to use. And I also installed two other SSDs, so this will be my fourth SSD in this. Uh, what I bought was the Western Digital Blue one terabyte. It was two hundred seventy-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Uh, show you what's in here. I already opened it actually. But there's the only thing in here is this. There's no paperwork, no instructions. It's all. Alright, so basically, on this laptop, I uh, just have to remove these screws, so I'll do that, then I'll show you guys the inside of the laptop. Alright, I just removed the 14 screws. They're just small Phillips head screws, nothing special. It's not like an Apple computer where you need a special screws or something, a special screwdriver. I just need to remove the back. I already have a video of taking this apart, so uh, you can check that out. Let's see here. I already got the original SSDs here. This is the NVMe one right here. This is the only one that will do that. And here's SSD slot number two. This will, this is only the SATA three interface. And here's actually another one, but this one's labeled as. This this is labeled as for the modem for three G. Uh, I will. I'm curious to see what happens if I put a regular SSD in there because. If a regular SSD in there it works in there, I could put two M.2 SSDs in there. Uh, uh, here's the. This is for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. So, once again, this is a regular, this is the main M.2. This is the secondary, which I will install SSD. Here's M.2, but it's for the 3G modem. Someone was asking me, where's the RAM slots? It's right here. One, two. I believe there's only two. And I have... Two of these SSDs is right here. Installed here. I if you can see that. I have two SSDs right here. Okay, so I'm just there's a screw here already. Take that screw out. Be careful not to touch any of these components. You would uh, ideally ground yourself out, which I'll do right now, actually. Okay. You have to be very careful with the electronics on here. You know, don't touch anything. I just grounded myself out, so I shouldn't have any static electricity. All right, let's do this like this. Okay. 
uh, fit perfect. Okay. Now I just need to find my screw. Okay. That was very forgetful. I couldn't remember where I put my screw. Just a small Phillips head. Well, that's pretty much it. That was, it was that simple. I will put that back on. 14 screws. And I will show you the BIOS and show you some speed tests. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to this PC, right click. Then you will click on the disk management. Uh, you'll see I only have 931.39 gigabytes there, so I uh, feel a little bit cheated there. It's not the one terabyte. Alright, so I have to go to new volume. Give it a new name if you want to. Okay, here you can see that it works. Okay, now I'll go ahead and test the speed of the SSD. Okay, the read speed was 557 megabytes per second and the write speed was 508 megabytes per second. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick test of the Samsung Pro 960 or 960 Pro. Here you can see the speed. It's a little bit more than 3000 megabits per second or mega megabytes per second and more than 2000 megabytes per second. It was a little faster about a month ago when I got this. Uh, now it's about half full. I've almost had it full once and it seems like it slowed down just a little bit but it's still very fast. Okay, well, that's all, folks. Bye.